Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. This is like the 18th time that I filmed this intro. Um, I couldn't figure out how to get the camera angle right. It was like sideways a bunch and it took me so long to get it right and now the lighting is weird so just bear with me. Um, today's video is what I am going to call a filler video because I had this video planned from way, way, way long ago, but decided that it was too morbid and I didn't want to talk about it. But I wanted to upload today, and the video that I was looking into for today is not done being researched yet, so I'm going to upload that video next week, and I'm uploading this video, obviously, this week. Um, but like I said, this topic is very morbid, so this is a trigger warning for child abuse, cannibalism, anything to do with children. It's really disgusting and morbid. However, I will not be diving into detail about any of the topics in today's case just because it's way too heavy and it's not something that I want to dive into at all. So I'm just gonna be really brushing the surface. So if that's something you can handle, proceed with watching this video. But if it isn't, feel free to click out and I'll catch you in the next one. So with that all being said, let's get right into today's video. So today we're going to be talking about a man by the name of Ronald William Brown and he is one of the sickest individuals I have come across this far. Um, but this all started in the 1980s when there was a popular Christian children's TV show called Joy Junction. This was like a children's game show where kids were invited onto the show to guest and appear and play these games on the show. And on the show, they were accompanied by these really like creepy looking puppets. I will include snippets of the show if I can without getting copyrighted, um, but it is a weird show like the puppets on the show just look really creepy but I guess way back then that was all they had so a lot of the shows from that time and especially even when I was younger are creepy um, but just with the background of this it definitely has a creep factor to it Ronald Brown was the star of this show and he is a puppeteer and on the show his name was Ron and he had a ventriloquist dummy by the name of Marty. Like I said, Ron and Marty were kind of like the stars of this show and kids would come on this show and it is described as teaching these children valuable lessons about the Bible and then these kids would play these games and they would win prizes and then they were able to ask the stars of the show questions about the Bible and about Christianity and it's just kind of like how you would expect a show like this to go. Well, exactly what's going on, Marty? Well, it's things like I'm hearing a lot of swear words. All the kids are using swear words these days. So just a little background on Ronald. He was a 58 year old man living in Florida in a trailer park called Whispering Springs. Joy Junction wasn't the only show that Ronald was on. He was a professional puppeteer. So he was offered a lot of positions on a lot of children's shows, or I guess like in a lot of children's entertainment, not only on TV shows, but at churches and schools and things like that. So with the background of this story, this is just a very, very sick, sick profession for somebody like this man to be in. At first, while living in his neighborhood, Ronald was said to be a very trustworthy, good neighbor. His career was obviously working with children, so people would trust him with their kids. He would have pizza parties at his house all the time where he would invite these kids over on a weekly basis and he would give them pizza and they would hang out and he would often drive these kids to his church and all of the parents in the neighborhood originally really trusted him, not only because of his career with children, but because he just seemed like a generally nice guy. And this is really at this point reminding me of John Wayne Gacy, but anyways. Soon the show Joy Junction would stop filming and that is when Ronald started to have a lot of run-ins with the law. On one particular occasion, he was pulled over for a traffic violation and that is when the officer who pulled him over noticed a pair of young boys underwear shoved between his seat. Now, when questioned about this, Ronald just simply explained this way saying that he used these with his puppets and that it was just something to do with his career in that kind of sense which to me seems very suspicious and weird however the officer didn't think that this seemed that weird and he let Ronald go with a warning. The next police report that I want to talk about took place in 2010 and was called in by a neighbor of Ronald's. She said that Ronald had been driving around in this bus, which was the bus that he took the kids to church in on the weekends, and he had been picking up young boys and taking them to church 
without their parents' knowledge, without their parents' permission. And she was backed up by saying this, um, in this by a lot of the neighbors and the other people who lived in the neighborhood and people were just starting to realize that Ronald was really creepy and the things that he was doing were not okay and at this point he started to not really be liked by his neighbors and his community which again like I stated before at the beginning when he was first kind of in that show and he was just moving there and stuff he was liked by the neighbors he was trusted they would let their kids go over to his house but now they started to realize that something was just not right but police at this point said that there wasn't really much that they could do about the situation and this report also pretty much just got shoved to the side. But again, parents started to get really concerned and they would start reporting more and more things to police. One of the things that I saw that was highlighted in a lot of these articles was that Ronald would often lock up some of the children's belongings inside of his home, like their bikes and things like that. Like he would just take them and lock them up. Now I'm not sure if that was because the kids would have to go to him to ask to get them back or like what he was trying to achieve with this, but this was something that was highlighted in every single article and he was also known to dispose of sex toys visibly outside of his home which that would be weird in any situation like who does that like that is like what on May 23rd, 2012, a man by the name of Michael Arnett was arrested and charged with the possession of CP. Now, obviously because of this, this disgusting, horrible man's home was raided by police. While raiding this man's home, they came across some of this man's chat logs online that were found through Yahoo Chats. Michael's main usernames were CK-366, Sweet Talker Linda, and it was clear that he was communicating with another man and this person's username was UE Limes. After looking into these chat logs, it was clear to investigators that they had come across some kind of ring and well in these chat logs, they had come across hundreds of sickening, disgusting images of children. And in some of these images, they believed that the children were actually deceased. The UE Lime account was linked to Ronald through a school account listing himself as a puppeteer and they would be able to identify Ronald by all of these police reports from neighbors saying that they were concerned about their children being around him and they were concerned about his behavior in the neighborhood. Under the username UE Lime, Ronald would go into absolutely horrible, disgusting detail about these sick, dark, twisted fantasies that he would have about these children that he came into contact through the church and his job as a puppeteer. Now, like I already said, I will not be going into absolutely any detail of what was talked about in these messages because honestly, even talking about it like this is making my stomach sick. Um, but he would talk about all of this messed up stuff and he would talk about cannibalizing these children. And in these chats, he would go on to say that he planned on carrying out these sick, disgusting acts. Now, there are samples of the chat logs that can be found online. I personally, again, will not be putting them in this video. Um, I might link them down below, we'll see. Um, if you guys wanna go look into that, that's on you, but I personally just can't stomach that kind of stuff, so I'm not going to even go into that. This case is in particularly sickening because of how close this man worked with children on a daily basis. It just goes to show that you absolutely cannot trust your children with absolutely anybody. It is so sick and deranged and just makes my skin crawl. But anyways, um, when they took Ronald's computer, they found a website that was called cutedeadguys.net. And on this website, Ronald had a profile that basically stated that he liked them young and deceased and said that he was into necrophilia since he was a child. Ronald Brown was arrested on July 19th, 2012 and his home was searched where they found several videos and whatnot of CP. When Ronald was arrested, he came clean about the entire thing, but basically just said that all of this was a fantasy and he never planned on carrying any of that out. However, the chat logs between him and Michael Arnett proved that that was just not true. Ronald Brown was tried and charged with the possession of CP and conspiracy to kidnap and was sentenced to 20 years with the condition of a lifetime supervision. I'm sorry that this video was so short, but these are the type of videos that I really, or the type of topics that I really do not like to dive into. I don't like to research them. Um, I don't even know how I ended up going down this rabbit hole, but that's why that video or this video was so short. I never did it in the past is because I started researching it and then just got like sick and didn't want to do it anymore. Um, but I honestly hope that Ronald and Michael completely rot in prison and nothing good comes to them for the rest of their lives. 
But guys, that is going to bring us to the end of today's video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below what you'd like to see in my future videos. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.